music here. That's just uh, intro music. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our award world. <laughs> well, Mark's having a little issue with my itinerary. What a, it's not itinerary. What's it called? We had our first staff meeting last night, and Jim made a... It's almost like a actor check sheet or whatever you want me. <laughs> there was no intro music on the sheet. So I, yeah, we didn't, I didn't know where to go I, either. It didn't I say intro I just music. figured out how to put the intro music back on the board. So. But how come it didn't say intro, intro music? music for 30 <laughs> hey, seconds. Yeah. I'm, I'm just want, we're sticking to this, right? So I'm just trying to see. Okay. It's very cute. We're going to put a picture on Facebook of Jim's uh, itinerary is what we're going you know, to do. These guys think it's just, you know, fancy equipment, and which isn't, you know, I mean. Fancy? Yeah, okay. just going to fancy equipment. <laughs> yeah, these all equipment. It takes work, to, but it tries to organization. Or, or, oh, fuck. That's organization. Yeah. Yeah. Edit Thanks. here. <laughs> edit, edit here. Edit here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta get the. This isn't the on the itinerary. No, we're, we're getting off. Right. All right, so we're hi everybody. <laughs> uh, line two. What have you been up Say to? Say hello to people. <laughs> hi people. <laughs> you guys are gonna see it. He's, we're 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 getting better, guys. We have. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> we have, uh, we have Every attempt to get better just makes it worse. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we won't make any more fun of this until later. I yeah. guess we're going to, I think. But, yeah. uh, I mean, hello, it, everybody. We're only on line two. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we are. So what, everyone, what have you been up to, Mark? Me, I've launched a full-scale investigation. I hired a detective <laughs> team to try to find where my damn uh, you know, cushion went. I've going, got going. a detective on the case. <laughs> I'm finding. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to my damn cushion. If you brought my cushion or took it, no questions asked. Just bring it back. That's all I want. That's Call all. Five, but five, I, I've watched. Five. I've lost. Five, five, five cushion. And you'll get a $5 <laughs> <That's> Starbucks <laughs> gift card. No, seriously. But no, I didn't get my cushion back. And this week has been, uh, I don't know, kind of quiet. I leave for vacation next week. So, you know, we're uh, me and the wife taking a cruise. So we're a little excited to go down to Miami for a couple days. Very so cool. It's going to rain the whole time. So we'll see. Are you sure it's going to rain? I mean, yeah, it's we raining now. Up. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll stop. We pulled up the 10 day and it's just 60%, 70%, 80%. And it's even got its own little ticker on the bottom of CNN. I'm like, yeah, oh, this is this ain't that ain't good if it's making CNN. But although they cover anything, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so it is. they're probably making it up. Fake news. That's it. But <laughs> now, besides that, I mean, I'm excited about doing. I'm excited about our uh, year uh, show coming up here in about a month. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow, is that you on? Did the, not oh. read the itinerary. God, oh my God. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's way down on the list. Okay, sorry about that. But no, it's going to be uh, uh, a fun, fun, fun-filled week. This week wasn't that fun. So, Kayla. Since we're not done, we can't go off that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What did you do? Um, we had my cousin's baby shower. So we I spent all damn day, one day, just getting all the final things done. We got it all set up, and then she was born two days later. So. <laughs> she was born two days later, instantly, on my brother's and my mother's birthday. Nice. Which is? Uh, the 12th, Monday. So oh. I <laughs> will say that... Uh, t- TikTok did this thing. Ticker talker. That's what yes, I call the ticker talker. That's what Mark calls it. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. So, you know, if you use TikTok, that it has this generated algorithm kind of thing. Before they announced that they were having this baby, mine kept saying, You're getting a baby girl. And I said, Not from me. Not from <laughs> me anytime, anywhere. <laughs> Um, and then at some point it said a grandmother figure is sending you a baby girl. And I oh, said, wow. what the hell is she planning up there? Cause I don't got nothing. Like she better not be planning this for me. A couple months later at Christmas, they announced that they're having a baby. Hmm. And I said, hmm, okay. Didn't think about it. Didn't think anything about it. A couple months later, they did the gender reveal. It was a girl. I was like, Okay. And oh. then now to find out that she was born on said grandmother's birthday. Wow, that's a good coincidence. That's a cool story. That is a cool story. Take that as you will. So hmm. no, but I like I like how you. No, that's hey. a pretty cool story. I like that. But anyway, so what did you do, Ted? Because that's all <laughs> I did. <laughs> no, I thought that's a, that's a great story. Uh, I worked in the office most of the week. I did get to go to Sedona. I got a road trip up to Sedona for a signing, and just love being up there. Um, it was a very quick turnaround, but got to see some, you know, the sights and sounds of Sedona. Hong Kong, beep, beep. That'll be $8 for this drink, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and pretty the, much. The, that's sign, I mean, the sounds that's, of Sedona. I, I don't know if I could retire there. I <laughs> no, don't, I mean, it's, it's, so it's too crowded now. It, it's not, yeah, it's not like what, I know they still haven't done the, you know, the big, they won't let any big conglomerates. I mean, Walmart's, you can't get in, you got to drive down to 
you know, whatever the valley is or whatever right. it is. So, I mean, so I like that they still done that, but it's, it, I don't know. Uh, the, in the there, roundabouts. I hate roundabouts. Main Street is packed. Every time you yeah, go, there's cars it, everywhere you can. Yeah, it's $40 it's, it's, to park. It's so just I'm not like, fun. Yeah. I, I don't But like anyways, that's another, that's not on the itinerary either. So we got it. <laughs> it's, I don't respect no, the whole, Sedona. <laughs> the whole purpose of the itinerary is to give us points to talk about. I don't want to write a script. Okay. Dick. You could have fooled me. I, I, it actually says, Kayla, talk now. I mean, that, that's, oh, oh. so what's coming up? Was that a question or? I'm not sure, Kayla. What do you think should be coming up next? Okay, uh, next, next line's line. Fuck you both. <laughs> oh, mine doesn't say that. Yeah, that's mine. Oh. I have the master copy. Oh, okay. Let's see how this works. So. Have you noticed? I really thought that. Between her fuckity fuck fuck fucks on her uh, Instagram page and your just general crudeness, but I'm the one that cusses the most on this show. Really? Yeah. Because I don't say fuck as much as y'all think I do. Uh, I know. When I don't you're think, drinking, you do. I just I'm just crude. I don't really say. Yeah, I'm really the one talk. that I'm the one that drops the f bombs the most on the show. I know that I'm the first one to ever cuss. Well, on except show for too. your our groupie, our groupie <laughs> saying this fucking sucks. <laughs> I mean, why, I mean, the fuck yeah, why, why the fuck am I here? Why the fuck did I marry him? Yes, my, Thirty fucking years my together. My fucking life sucks. <laughs> we hear that a lot, but that just doesn't make the cut. But uh, no, but I uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I noticed that with editing that I am the one that cusses the most. So I apologize for my language. Not really, but that's what the script says. We should be apologizing <laughs> for anything on this show. Nobody listens anyway. <laughs> the 12 people that listen, I am sorry. Fuck off. What do we have? We're at uh, over 1,056, you 1,064 said? downloads. So our goal, we oh. talked about this in the staff meeting last night that you weren't there, by the way. Yeah. So By the Lucky end of you. July, we would like 1,250 downloads. We think that would be great. And then another goal would be to double that by the end of the next year. Wow. Wait, 12. I thought we said 1,250 by the end of the year. No, 1250 by the end of July. You want us to get 200, yes, almost I'm 200 put downloads. It, yes, in the next month. I'm going to push it. All right. The well, itinerary says. Yeah, the, the itinerary says we lost. Nothing. Well, we are <laughs> we are coming up on our one year anniversary. So we are. Yay. 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 I have to get better working the buttons. Yes. Yeah, so in, in the staff meeting. too. So. <laughs> Uh, we are coming up on our one year anniversary. We're going to have a little party, have a lot of former guests on. Um, We're not going to do it. It's too hot in Arizona. We're not doing it outside, but we are going to move it back into the original, the bigger studio. We we downsized into Studio A. We'll move back into Studio T for uh, that show so everybody can fit. And we got to, it was going to probably be a two day setup. You won't. Of course, for all y'all you do is just come in and sit down. But me and Jim will have to, there's a lot of Are we going to try to do Facebook Live again? I mean, I, I, we could, we should vote right now. I don't. I wouldn't mind doing another Facebook Live, and let's work the kinks out. And yeah, as long as we focus on it. And, and I understand the Christmas party. You had a party to host, and I get it. But if we can focus on it, I think it's a good. Idea. Yeah, if it was just just doing fate, what do you think? I don't necessarily care. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, did you like, did you expect <laughs> Thank anything you everybody. else? Good night, Phoenix. <laughs> no. Good night, Phoenix. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, coming up on our one year anniversary, that'll be uh, we're going to record that Dr. on July fourteenth. Doctor Weed's going to be on. Dave's going to be Dave, on. Special guest, uh, guest Dave. Yeah, uh, Andrea Pony. filled in. Uh, our coach. Uh, everyone. Uh, whoever we can, whoever we can dig out the woodwork that uh, is still speaking to us after being on our show. And we got some great guests actually book coming up. I've got actually a thirty four year teacher coming on. You know, in the next uh, couple of weeks to go ahead and talk about teaching over the years uh i actually yeah. think after we talk about that i think that would be interesting how teaching has gone for 34 years oh yeah it's gonna back, be great back in the 90s till now he's a good dude and i think uh, he'll be really interesting for us and everything else and and i'm going on if you guys know anyone on only fans hit us up on facebook because i would like to do an interview with an only fans so if anybody out there knows it let you me know. Ask, what, what what do you want to know from an only fans I want to know how they're generating money, how long it took them to make the money. I want them to know what made them decide to quit their job. There's a lot of stuff that I, I, I mean, it's, it's the new porn industry is really what it is. Right. So I want to know what made, I mean, I, and I want an, I want a success and a non-success story because there's got to be a, right. a, a ton of them out there that aren't successful or like us have 1,100 downloads <laughs> in over a year. But the other ones that aren't being successful that are doing whatever. So I'm more into the uh, uh, business aspect of what made them decide, oh, to, right. you That's... know, how that works and everything. Of course, I'm going to add my own little two cents right. of kink yeah, in. There we go. But I do want to, <laughs> I do want to kind of know how, uh, how the whole industry works and how people are starting to do that now and what the views are changing with 
the millennials, Generation Xers on porn and stuff like that because it's really changed now. Right. I mean, How much you have to drink or smoke? You get yeah, do you? I, I mean, is sure. it like a typical like when we, we just went to the nudie bar? Most girls there had daddy issues or freaking drank or smoke <laughs> and were up there doing it. So I want to know if this is you know I bet I you know I'm sure there's that fair share. I'm sure there's the good and bad of the whole industry. So I'm I'm yeah. interested to know the good and the bad of All the whole right. industry. Well, the call has been put out. Where if you know of someone who's on OnlyFans, we'd like to talk to them. And if you found my cushion, let me know. That's a that's a one. 800 number cushion because that's what i want <laughs> we're going to talk about this till it comes back you can do whatever you want and give me dirty looks you probably took my cushion you're probably the one there that took my cushion. Was a cushion out there there was a cushion out there i think you're going delusional oh, and you okay. need help oh. oh oh yeah our uh our appearance on who who will save generation x that's a little trivia podcast that i found that i really enjoy um, Mark and I are going to be contestants on it. We bat- are battling each other. We are. I know, you know, he'll probably beat me because he's a plethora of useless the talent knowledge. Out. I, <laughs> no, you're going to be. With, you're, I was thinking you'd be sitting with me and Andrew be sitting with him, and then um, all four of us can uh, can battle each other. So yeah, we're looking forward to be on that. We're just waiting to hear back. Um, we had to fill out some surveys so they can kind of tailor the game towards our interest. To make it so we both don't look stupid. Don't give any spoilers. Oh, well, no, no, there is no spoiler. It's know. fun, but you guys should listen to it. I listen. It's, yeah. a, good, it's a good little uh, podcast. It's yeah. Fun, Who so. will save Gen X? The podcast. Uh, they have a Facebook group too. Kayla, um, you went to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you got dinner. <laughs> so I saw on probably I saw it somewhere first, and then TikTok sent me the ad. Of course. Um, so Jack in the Box came out with a new munchie meal. Which I am a fan of the old Munchy Meals. I don't like the new setup of them. But Snoop Dogg, I guess, has paired up with Jack in the Box to make his own Munchy Meal again. Because I guess they were tailored around him in the first place, which I didn't know that. Well, it's for stoners. You know that. Well, yeah. So I went the other night because I was interested to see what it was. And as she rang up my order, she hands me a car air freshener. And I said, oh, that's cute. That's not a Jack Ball, but okay. Um, this thing says the that Jack it... Ball. Okay, well, let's talk about the munchie meal first. It's your standard uh, chicken taco thing, or what did you say it was? I don't even know. It was like a hot dog bun that had like chicken tenders in it, and then it was like ranch and cheese, and it was just like a loaded chicken thing. And let's okay. preface this. She does not smoke. Yes, she, is she not. does and not And so it, as a non-smoker, how would you rank it? I didn't care for it. Okay. I didn't care for it because it was in the hot dog bun. I don't like hot dog buns. After this show, we're going there and I'm going <laughs> to order it. And, and I will give it, I will we'll come back on and I'll we'll decide what I'm going to vote it on. So. <laughs> it's called DoorDash now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a one, great idea. Get one cent here. <laughs> so yeah, and then it comes with like a taco and then it came with a brownie, which the brownie was actually like a decent sized brownie for freaking fast food. How cool if Snoop put... That's what I had wondered. That would be great. I had wondered at some point. I was like, am I going to die from this? (laughs) But I didn't think that was legal. So Yeah, no, that's not legal. But yeah, no. So then the Happy Meal toy was. (laughs) It was an air freshener that is Jack's face with some cool sunglasses. And it says it's Purple Haze air freshener. We're opening this up. And if it smells like it, I am going to send a thank you letter. All right, so let's let's let our non-smokers know. Purple Haze is a very, uh, it's just been around forever. If you're a pot smoker, you know what Purple Haze okay, is. I mean, it's so. just one of the original, if we had Dr. Weed on, he'd talk all day right, about, right. It, about it. So, I think it's grape. It, it says on the package, this may smell like Purple Haze, but it's just an air freshener. Don't eat it or burn it <laughs> right, then I, I, I if you know snoop snoop's a big I, it's i bet you it smells like wheat because that those whole munchy dinners are geared towards stoners at 2 a.m yeah but who would want to smell that stoners oh. yes, dear God. <laughs> i'm yes, sorry that's stoners. the reason i don't smoke pot is the smell i cannot stand oh, the smell you of pot. miss out so no much. it's terrible there's other ways now jim there's i know other ways. but that's that's what's kept me this long is that how long does I it take you to open a damn air freshener <laughs> it, is, God, God. it does Come have on. child protective uh coating on it or something kale's having trouble with the wrapper it, the, it, j- this is as much as in t- anticipation of the Mountain Dew uh, watermelon <laughs> we drank last week. I don't think it smells like it. I think You're it's smelling just... wrapper. No, I smell the inside. That mm. doesn't smell... We're taking it out, okay. Oh, he took it all the way out of the package. No, I think Jim's right. It's more grapey. I see. Grapey. 
Yeah, I mean it's. I mean, purple haze is going to be a little. I mean, but it's it smells a little. Right. Great. It, on, it does not. I'm going to turn on like, Kayla's headphones. So I'm about to sneeze. Guys, it, it, we hate to let you know it doesn't <laughs> smell like weed. Yeah, it definitely does not smell like no, that, marijuana at all. No. So I'm really glad. Wah, wah, I mean, wah, it is kind of disappointing wah, that wah, wah. they make it really seem like it is going to smell like that, and then it doesn't. It's a great marketing ploy, though. Yeah, no, I. I, I yeah. And, and, but you know what? It would suck is if they said, "Do you want the purple thing for a dollar or something?" Try to sell it. Yeah. So I'm glad it's a great little marketing thing. I'll give it that. So yeah, no, take a picture of your, was... on your itinerary, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take care of two things. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> Of the uh, oh oh yeah the packet so does it is it like at every Jack in the Box now or yeah it from what I know it's just every they're Jack just in the giving box away two million probably, purple haze it's probably like okay yeah to me it just smells like a uh, they tried to put grape flavoring or grape scent on two cardboard I smell the cardboard yeah that's kind of it that's kind of what it is so we will have a picture of the itinerary and the purple haze air. I don't want to call it freshener. Now, and now, if you're a smoker <laughs> and you blow weed smoke onto it, I think, and then hang it up, I think it would be pretty good, to be honest with you. I think I, said, I might give that a try later. That's what I'll do. I'll probably go to the backyard, blow real weed Mar- on Mark's it. Mark's got a new up, product. So. He's just going to be sitting there blowing yeah. on air fresheners all night. <laughs> <laughs> no. They never said anything about it. So when she handed it to me, I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." Nice. Like, I, and then I read it's it. It's a free gift. Like, it is. I like. I went and just said it's I a McDonald's think the, toy. The whatever. graphics is, is cool as far as you know, Jack. You know, with the sunglasses on. It everything. looks like an old '80s video game. Yeah, yeah, it does look like an '80s video game, but it doesn't smell. For like fourteen dollars, it was not. It was it. whoa. The, mid, the munchie meal was fourteen bucks. <laughs> yes, it was. You paid for the name. Yeah, no. They 100%. used to be like three ninety nine. No, or so. six, seven, maybe eight, but the not mon- fourteen. Fourteen yeah. dollars. No, that better have real fucking weed in that cookie. Six or seven. Do you know what I can get at Taco Bell for fourteen? I can get twelve bean burritos no, or whatever. You cannot. No, not anymore. They're <laughs> anyway. So yeah, no. For the fourteen dollars for me, it was not worth it. It was the wow. brownie was really good, you know. That it was better physically come with weed for fourteen dollars, <laughs> is what I'm saying, because that is freaking ridiculous. I okay, well, my God. On that note, I I think Jesus, I I don't know if all I don't I might just boycott fuck, Jack in the Box. I altogether. know that's that's uh, kind of shocking. That's that's a little bit. Uh, it's yeah. summertime. It is mid June, mid to late June. It mid is. Late June. Yes. It's mid June. So I was I was going uh, flipping through um, stuff and found these are actual complaints from Thomas Cook's Vacations. Thomas Cook's Vacations is a um, travel agent. They book vacation things. So these are some uh, Travis some, Cook. Thomas. Thomas Cook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I found some His of these. Travis. I found some of these funny. These are actual complaints that um, Thomas Cook received from people that they booked a re- that booked their vacations through them. Number one, they should not allow topless sunbathing on the beach. It was very distracting to my husband who just wanted to relax. <laughs> <laughs> See, girls don't get that, yeah. but guys get that great. That's what I like about my wife. She points out other perp- uh, other ladies' boobs for me. I love. It. I mean, she doesn't realize that I've seen them <laughs> uh, twenty minutes before, but uh, it's cute when she points them out. All right, uh, and I'm not giving these any particular order, and not, we're not going to go through all of them. We went on holiday to Spain, and I had a problem with the taxi drivers as they were all Spanish. <laughs> 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 First of all, <laughs> I feel like that's racist. Yeah, it's a little, a little racist. <laughs> and, and and what the hell did you expect? I just, of course, uh, you know I, what? You can go to New York and probably get that too. That's so. kind of, you probably yeah, that's uh, that's racist. Now that yeah, was okay. racist. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> Edit here. No. Nah. nah, we're okay on that. So, um, the beach was too sandy. We had to clean everything out when we returned to our room. I hate that. I, it is I'm, a pet peeve. It, I'm gonna, you know what? I am. I understand your what you're saying, but everybody listening to us right out there, thanks, mom, is is saying, yeah, that sucks when you when you're coming out and you're full of. Sand. I understand dad's side of it, but also like there needs to be some sort of like concrete or something that when you go, it just takes the sand. Well, they have from the you. outside showers. Even then, though, you have to walk all the way over there to do that, Those and then. <laughs> They're fucking sandy. Well, they're <laughs> it's sand coming off people in an outdoor so shower. Then you just get sandier. It's a beach. <laughs> the hell. <laughs> uh, but I get the complaint because I, I 
So you want like some super machine? You come out of heat thing and it just. Whoop. Yeah, I want <laughs> an sudden, air bl- dryer like for your hands, like the car to... wash, the last <laughs> part of the car wash. You yeah. just go through. <laughs> okay, um, to point out that you know Thomas Cook vacations usually you know probably the Caribbean or something. Did or Thomas something. Cook pay you? Because that's like the no. ninth time say, you said this... Thomas no. Cook. No. Is this sponsored? Thomas Cook. Uh, no, did this, I tell you Thomas Cook? This is where we cite our references so they don't sue us. And that would be Thomas Cook. That would be Thomas Cook. <laughs> no, okay, sponsored. read something. It's not about the fancy setup. Anyway, <laughs> um, still not sponsored. No one told us that there would be fish in the water. The children were scared. Again. Well, if it was a pool, then yeah. I, I, yeah, that's I, I, why I had to stay. I, I, this was gonna... Caribbean Ocean stuff like that. So, oh, okay. oh, see, you got to specify. Cause... Right, right. Oh, this 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 one I love. This is for the. If it uh, was coming out the tap water. This is for the <laughs> chef. Well, that's true. Okay, I get to point on that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! A fish came out of the sink. <laughs> um, this is for you uh, chefs out there. Although the brochure said there was a fully equipped kitchen, there was no egg slicer in the drawer. What's oh. an egg slicer? You don't a know knife. what egg slicer. Uh, well, well, that's a, but there is a real egg slicer. You actually so it's not a fully equipped kitchen without the egg slicer. Use a knife. They do knife. only cost about a dollar ninety nine. Use so a knife, you, dumbass. You wanna, you know, I don't even on my hard boiled eggs. I just eat them. I don't even cut them in half. Do you guys? I'm googling this in this moment. And here, the Britain, the Britons are pissed off again. Right. English are pissed off again. They're coming. It took us nine hours to fly home from Jamaica to England. It took the Americans only three hours. That's not, doesn't seem fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's, you do geography, right? No, nope, I feel that. that works. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, another problem with, with, with Spanish people is I wonder if it's the same person. When we were in Spain, there were too many Spanish people there. The receptionist spoke Spanish. The food was Spanish. No one told us there'd be so many foreigners. <laughs> I hate when that happens. When I go to a foreign country, <laughs> someone's homeland. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to end on this one because this one's great. This is great. My fiance and I requested two twin beds when we booked, but instead we're placed in a room with a king bed. We now hold you responsible and want to be reimbursed for the fact that I became pregnant. <laughs> 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 this wouldn't have happened if you put us in the room we booked. <laughs> if I'm a guy... You have to make that suggestion. Let's get twin beds. But if they actually take you up on it, the date's over, guys. That's, I, the, the date is over. It okay? wasn't even a date. That was their fiance. I know, what if but they're I'm, like I'm just, very religious uh, or? Yeah, you the know, date's if, over. If, if they're, wait, the if they're waiting over. for their wedding night, even which if you're is saying fine, I'm very religious, the date's but over. But you're going to sue Thomas Cook. I wasn't paid. <laughs> <That's> not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. Um, you're going to sue them because you got pregnant. That's your... I, I get it. And I went off a little tangent there, but I never understood the twin beds <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous get your own room so i don't go on vacations i don't hey, listen vacations were fun we're good so you're going the negative i what i wanted to go towards was family negative. vacations and stuff you kind of no did. i mean as a kid i have you know i had great ones that's, yeah. that's so, so you start go ahead what, what well some of your my family? most epic vacation um resembled the movie um to the point where we were moving out here to arizona so it, we took like 10 days to drive out here and went to every ball of twine house of mud That'd be kind of everything. See, that'd be kind of fun. The largest yogurt. Yeah. yeah, No, I mean, we we went to, I think we went to Opryland in Tennessee. We went to Six Flags in St. Louis. We spent two days in St. Louis. We spent a day at the Arch going up in the Arch. And then we went to Six Flags the next day. Spent another whole day in uh, Colorado uh, driving around the mountains up there or something like that. We just took a long time to get here. But it was the most epic, saw the country. Cool. And we didn't take the straight line that we normally, you know, 22 hours there, um, you know, down to Tennessee, up to Missouri, over to Colorado, down back, you know, <laughs> circle. <That's okay>. <laughs> <Macarena>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we took go on. Your, your summer vacations as a kid, what do you, I mean... Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, well, yeah. I, well, <laughs> and it doesn't just have to be your mom and dad here that you do with it. I mean, do you remember any summer vacations that you had fun with? And um, As a family, I don't feel like we really did any. We ended up, they, we, they, blah, blah, blah. They took me to Nor- New York in that same fashion right. that dad, grampy, Katie, and I all jumped in a car and drove from here all the way up there. Yeah, that was a straight shot, though. You didn't get to see much, but yeah, we, got, still... we had some fun in New York, yeah. I still remember going to like 
Oklahoma and oh, you're whatever. Right. You know what? You're right. We did go to the Oklahoma. Um, the bombing the thing. Bombing. That was traumatic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was traumatic uh, for wah, an eight-year-old. Wah, 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 the exciting fun wah, Jim wah. takes his daughter to. Yeah. <laughs> Next, yeah. we're going to the 9-11 memorial. <laughs> <laughs> I learned about some dramatic <laughs> shit when Dear I was Lord. eight. <laughs> so I remember doing that. And I mean, that was fun. But for summer vacations, because I mean, we were there for that whole summer. And then mom flew in. And then we all came back at some point. That's the only real summer vacation I remember us really doing. Yeah. I mean, we've taken, you know, weekend trips or whatever, but nothing major. No, we just, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I can, I'm kind of the same boat. I mean, we did the Grand Canyon as a family. I remember right. that. So, and then we did Disneyland, but I mean, but that was about where it stopped. I mean, I was like 10, I think the last family vacation. That yeah. We I mean, actually- I've been to Disneyland a couple of times, but I, we went. I don't know if there's summer vacations or spring break vacations. But I know there's families that, you know, at the, every year at, oh, yeah. a, at a, you know, a sprawling, you know, lake house or whatever. And yeah. all their friends and family. Town. I mean, so there's like really, I mean, that's another thing I'd like to know really good fan. Dude, is there anything that our listeners do every summer that they got to do or that they have a fun stuff? Uh, it better. I mean, cause our stories were pretty lax. It, that was, yeah. Hey, yours was the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> 9/11 yeah. And, yeah, the and the Oklahoma city. So, I mean, I'm like, Oh my God. Okay. So there's got to be better stories, but I, I, we didn't really do. I, so I'm wondering if the days of the family vacations now with the money and everything are kind of over or are people doing their own thing here? I mean, I, it, it, I, well, you know, like when, when we talk about going away, we've got to deal with who's going to watch a dog. Is the house going to be okay? And we've gotten so much the home bodies that we just don't. Well, that's an like age thing. Yeah, as we got older. But I you just... couldn't do that when your kids are five and six. No, you took no. Fido with you half the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, we boy, just... I feel horrible. I didn't take you on these vacations. I mean, but I, I think a, I, I don't. Know. I think a lot of families probably don't do any. Well, I mean, when I was a kid, we spent all of our time. We had a trailer up at Lake Ontario, and we would go up there for the entire week. See, now that's a story, though. Yeah. That's something you, but, that's what I was saying. My, but that, to me, that wasn't camping. That was just, you know, going to the summer house up on the lake. My wife's <laughs> parents had a, a cabin on the lake that they would go to every summer. And she she says that's some of her best memories of, you know, driving the boat up there, pontoon boat and stuff like that. So right. there are mm-hmm. remember, people that do this a lot. But I... We, I it looks like just the three of us. Took you to that Well, Carla, scene. as a kid, you, you went to the Pima Air Museum. <laughs> the spaces of air? The Pima Air Museum. The Pima Air Museum. If you, um, uh, you Gen Xers uh, remember the the movie Can't Buy Me Love, he took that girl to the airplane graveyard. Um, the airplane graveyard is the Pima Air Museum, and it's just a bunch of derelict old planes just all parked end to end. <laughs> but I'd, lo- I'd love to go there just to walk around. I mean, so I mean, I mean, I remember if we had to do stay ins, we went to the drive in, and you know, so we would. And now they don't even have the. I mean, so during the summer, you would. Well, it was usually too late for double feature because the sun didn't ever go down till nine o'clock, so the drive yeah. couldn't even start. But we did that as a family. We'd go. I remember a couple times, and then we all, always did it just as friends. We yeah, I mean, we were always. I mean, during the summers, we were always. Well, we always stayed at Joey's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we never but, stayed at your house or my house, but um, yeah, we were always staying over each other's house or whatever. And then you know, it was just to the game room on Tuesdays and or the movies on Tuesdays and game room in the pool. Yeah. So it wasn't, it wasn't really, really big. Uh, I remember when I was 15 and had to go back to New York, I was dragged back to New York and I didn't want to, didn't want to go. And I was there for, I don't know, two or three weeks, maybe longer. I don't know. Um, I regret that one. I wish I would have had more fun back there, but, uh, well, you were also too little, you left too little to have like lifelong friends from Syracuse, right? I mean, you still uh, have one or two. I still got to, one. But... I still got one. that I still, and I haven't even talked to him in years, but you know, I would still consider a friend. I'm sure I could call him up when I got right. there, you know, but, um, no, no. Yeah. I left when I was 10. So I really don't have a whole lot of, I think it always just depends on the dynamic of the family too. Cause I know like my cousins, they were always, you know, they had soccer or they had this or that. So they were going all over the place in the summer because they had so many different family members in different areas. That is true. If you've got a, a child that's excelling in one sport during the summer, they're probably traveling all over yeah, the tournaments, tournaments and, and doing all yeah. kinds of stuff. So you're doing a little bit different on that. Yeah, I could, that's a good point. I guess it does compare on the dynamic. And I, I guess it does 
hate to say it, it comes down to money. Yeah, I mean, no, if, 100%. I mean, if, you're, if you're having a welfare freaking summer, you're not, you're not <laughs> right. going, I mean, you're, you're not going anywhere big or anything like that. So I get that. But you know, I, I got, I, I've got some friends who made their backyard, their vacation spot. They don't really like to go away. So they made their backyard. Well, vacation well, spot. I'm you're them, you're yeah. in the process of doing it to yours. Yeah. Yours is going to end up being your vacation spot. It really will there will be, be no I mean, need to re- leave yours. You know, and some people like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love going out, but now it's to the point where it, there, I, I'm basically hanging out with the same 10 people. Yeah. We all basically, if we go to the bar, we're not meeting anybody anymore. So it's like, why are we just not meeting people's yeah. backyards and I, rotating? I've always been backyard fire pit. Why spend the money at the bar? What you buy yeah, one drink, you can buy a 12 pack. Time that, I mean, I met a lot of good friends that I still talk to with bars Man. and stuff like that. But I mean, but uh, it's, it's here nor there. I mean, I understand all the dynamics of Christmas vacations and our right. Christmas, I mean, summer vacations. And, you know, it, I'd like to hear some, I'd like to hear some really good ones. I mean, if you're one of those families that does uh, every summer at Cape Cod or, you know, whatever yeah. like that, or I think it'd what, be cool some, what are some of the, the movies like, uh, um, what was dirty dancing with some summertime thing at the lodge? Yeah. Or that was the like hoity toity. Yeah. Uh, yeah you was, know, do people still go away for a month and stuff like that? Or is it, I don't know. I know in like um, overseas Europe and stuff, their vacations are scheduled for a month at a time. You get a month vacation and it's the, you take one month off. That's what you do. I would love that. I can't even get a day off. But that is, it's scheduled <laughs> in your, so but, you, and it's a lot of countries in Europe that they think you have, you have a month off. See, even now, like to go camping, I, I'll go for a night. I don't want to go for the weekend. I mean, shit, even when you and I went, um, we went up for the night, and I wanted, I was ready to come home the next day. We well, went for a walk in the morning. If and, I've got and a lost cabin. And, and, well, that was 20 years ago. We were in tents. Toilets. I'm at a gal. Yeah, yeah we were long. in tents or whatever, but I I don't, I don't know. I guess I just would rather be home. I just. Well, that's our you know, age. I'm, I'm in the thing in the sense of I'm not going like dry camping for multiple days. No. Exactly. We leave Friday, get up there Friday night, we're there Saturday, and we come home Sunday kind of thing. If we're having an RV or cabin or anything like that yeah let's stay for a couple of days but even then i don't really hike or go and do things but it was easier when you had the th- at uh, country thunder four days of the rv oh yeah 100 yeah, percent. So oh, sure. exactly. i imagine so, it would be so you could do four days i would think up north i mean yeah no if i had a whole setup i mean right. ultimately i said a lot of people damn do thing. that That's, i mean yeah if so. we were able to bring the dog and i didn't have to worry about the house or anything like that then yeah i could see it you know a lot of my vacations as I've gotten older is very just we're leaving at this time on this day and we're coming back this day. We don't I don't have a job currently or really. I mean, I guess we did with uh, North Carolina, but even then I don't have the time off that a lot of people get. So it's like, OK, we're going for one day and I still have to take off of work for that. And then we have to be home because I don't have any other days to be able to take well, yeah, it's all your PTOs for Country Thunder, right? Well, yeah. And I mean, I guess that's my vacation every year is that I go out there for the week and stuff like that. Right. But when it comes to summer and stuff like that, just never really had any plans. No, I bet you we fall more into that. I really do. I bet you we're, we're more of a majority. I bet you we are. I bet you we, it is it, what us, you know, what we just went Well, here yeah, but you hear in the news how, you know, airlines are exp- Expect, uh, expecting record uh, travel. It's because and- they're at sixty five percent of what they used to fly, Jim. That's why they've reduced flights so much. Of course, they're busy. Well, yeah, but when they say record number of people flying, that's not per airplane. That's record record number. But it's they're still doing it on a. If on ten a, years ago ten thousand people t- flew, and this year twelve thousand people flew, I understand exactly what you're saying there. But they're. <laughs> yeah. We're not kidding. Do, do the, the math, math for me. I don't know. The math ain't yeah, math. You know what? I'm about ready to take this damn thing. <laughs> yeah, there's no math on the math itinerary. Math <laughs> all right. It's all, all other right. things. So. Now, <laughs> it goes in. We already kind of talked about best summer vacation. Do you have a best summer vacation that you. No, the best. Oh, so I never really had a worst because. I mean, well, worst summer vacation for spending it with your dad every fucking summer. That we did. I mean, Jesus. I, I, I said best. Uh, well, no, the best. I, not with a family. And I, and I guess that's depressing to say. I mean, it was it was with friends of mine from Southwest. And we would, you know, we'd plan summer uh, trips somewhere and go three or four days when I worked. So I think that's when my best summers were. But it wasn't with family. I know it sounds depressing, but mine mm-hmm. wasn't with family. 
I I think the one that I can only really remember that was in the summer was when my cousin Timmy, like one day was like, what time are you getting off of work? And I was like, whatever time. He's like, okay, I'm going to pick you up and we're going to go to San Diego because like all of the other cousins were already there and either he was going or he randomly decided he wanted to go. So I remember he picked me up from work and like we went to the gas station, got gas and just left. Yeah, I, that was that was not that was not my favorite. That, <laughs> that, that, that was her first vacation without me. How old yeah. were you? Uh, that 15. was yeah, 15, 16. Uh, yeah, I'd be a little worried. Well, but you're with that very trustable individual on Timmy. So. Timmy was the only one I trusted. I didn't trust the rest of my family. So they all treated, well, treated her like shit. That's a whole other <laughs> show. Okay, we didn't need to all go right. there. But uh, enter, anyway. Like, uh, but yeah, that enter was. therapy here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I remember that one. That one. And I'm, and I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad I finally let but you But that was another and, just kamikaze one. Yeah. You know, we got there yeah, freaking like I, midnight or I, I don't think remember we're all what time. on that. that got really there midnight fights. and couldn't get into the hotel room. And dad's freaking out that his 15 year old daughter sleeping in a car and ready to drive over and pick Listen, you up. It was because she could have been drunk and stoned too, Jim. Santa okay. the fat ass wouldn't let us check into the room in the middle of the night for whatever reason. So yeah. blame Sansa the fat ass. Sansa the fat ass. All right. What is, the hotel that we stay at. What is really the name of the hotel? It's called Sansa La Jolla. Sansa La Jolla. We, Ooh, everywhere we used to go. Yeah, no, we go to La Jolla. Every time we get, went, we stayed there. They revent are remodeled but we stay somewhere else now because it's right on the beach screw you la jolla (laughs) (laughs) i want to stay there since they remodeled i want to see what it's like but like i said this new place i'll spend the extra 100 200 dollars you suck i'll go to malibu right on (laughs) the beach (laughs) instead of having to waste the gas oh now wait that brings up the the vacation we took to uh to san diego and disneyland we went to um sea world we stayed at the catamaran there right across from sea world SeaWorld now sucks. Sea yeah, World but does back suck. back then, you know, the picture that I have that I love so much with you on the banister, um, we had this, you know, twelve story, really nice room. Um, we we spent a ton of money on this vacation. We were at SeaWorld and then we drove up the coast to uh and went to Disneyland. Your uncle Keith came with us on that trip, right, Carla? Anyway. I don't remember that. But anyway, I remember that. Yeah, that that was a cool mm-hmm. that was a cool vacation that we took one summer. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't remember it. Yeah, I mean, I it's not. Young. I mean, there's my I, itinerary. I guess man, I hope, I, I, but I bet you were in the majority. I bet you there's a lot of them just like us. Or if you were, again, if you had a kid that excelled in sports, you were your vacation right. was basically already predetermined for you what you were going to have to do. So, but yeah, I like that. I mean, I thought we'd start off summer. I mean, we're a little late with it. We probably should have did around Memorial Day. Yeah, but, man. You know, but hell, we're are, we're late for people, everything. People are starting. <laughs> I made me thinking because I'm leaving on Tuesday for you know, and I, you know, and that's it's a it's a vacation I'm wait for a big in the independence day special in mid-august it's just <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna come back we're gonna talk about summer movies and are they still a thing yeah. all right welcome back to thomas cook warp, warp world <laughs> thomas cook presents thomas, thomas cook, cook presents I, just, I have now changed world. my name to thomas cook i know I, that's how i want to be referenced we all, we all thomas cook yes. thomas. so thomas tell me <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> all right, we all know Mark's favorite movie is Christmas Vacation, but before so I, that was right, the original. We, we want to talk about. We're going to talk about is the summer blockbuster done? Is the right. are the movies are movies done? Now we're going to reminisce about some big summer blockbusters, of course. But this big conversation includes her big time because right. the movies are kind of done for millennials. Well, not- here this this is weird, and I'm going to go through through these really quick. Um, these are Entertainment Weekly's top ten summer um, blockbusters. They aren't on the um, the amount of money. They are what Entertainment Weekly thinks were the biggest movies. For, okay. Of all time. Of all time. Of all okay. time, okay. So, um, number 10, Animal House, released in 78. Number 9, Ghostbusters, released in 84. Mm-hmm. Forrest Gump, 94. Um, Mad Max Fury Road, 2015. E.T. in 82. Raiders of the Lost Ark in 81. The Dark Knight in 2008. Jurassic Park in 93. Star Wars in 77. And number 1 is Jaws in 75. So, the newest one was 2015, which is a remake of yeah. the original. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Which is wild. Why? I never even thought Ma- Mad Max wild. I, I didn't like it. I remember seeing the first Mad Max and left. 
I mean, oh, I love them both. Any I of love those them movies both. On but where list. is where is see? But you it, where is Top Gun? And yeah. now Top Gun Maverick was the only freaking blockbuster that I can remember in the last ten years. I mean, I, I it, it what justifies even, it to be a blockbuster though? I guess now it is. Just, do you even go to the movies? Me and Holly went to the movies. I think three months ago for a Will Ferrell uh, rendition, which was really cute of a Christmas Carol, by the way. But we're the only ones in the movie theater. We're it. I, mean, I, I just don't think. Yeah, Top Gun Maverick last year. Um, and that's still but, it was but a blockbuster. Like Entertainment Weekly people in didn't even, Entertainment Weekly. They're pretty, you know, yeah. you know, and they didn't even put Top Gun on their list. Yeah, my summer. I would have not included a lot of those if oh, I'm me going. Either. If me I'm either. going summer, blo- so summer blockbusters is something you had to see, and sometimes you had to see it twice. You were waiting. Uh, you were anticipating you were all winter long for it to come out. Do you? But what? classifies that it's as usually a like if it clears a hundred million in a weekend yeah or, your, or, you know, your opening weekend is some revenue. record breaker i mean marvel ruined it yeah. marvel you know took over the summer blockbuster thing everything everyone's waiting for the marvel stuff no one cares about anything yeah there's else. no original but that's a whole nother show but it, yeah. that's why? why we're talking about see because like my my top 10 isn't anything close to that, and I—I I mean, I don't have specific top ten, but I know. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I don't put Animal House now. They don't make movies like Animal House now, anymore. They can't. I mean, interestingly enough, when I was doing research on this, the uh, blo- the term blockbuster was created in 1975. Was when they first started to come up with well, Jaws was the first summer right. blockbuster ever. Dun it. <laughs> dun it, dun it. Then they started calling stuff summer blockbusters. But dun. so really quick, Jim, I want you to so give me that list again, starting from the bottom. Uh, number House. ten, Animal House. Okay, hundred forty-one point right no, six million. Okay, but they could never, they cannot never, make never, Animal House again today never. because it would just be shot down. The woke right. movement that can't be remade. What's right. after that? Number nine, Ghostbusters. Two hundred forty. Ghostbusters. They tried to redo. Mi- bombed. Yeah. So well, that, the Ghostbusters after, Afterlife wasn't bad. No, no, no. I'm talking when they rebooted Remade it. Remade with the women. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. right, which I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying to be nice here, but that bombed. <laughs> okay, so. All right, number eight, Forrest Gump, 678 uh, million. Forrest Gump that will never be redone. That's, yeah, that's just, that's classic. So. Uh, number seven, Mad Max, 415 million. Which was a which remake. Which a remake, which was a remake. Yeah. E.T., 792. E.T., I'm glad they never did a, a him coming back, you know. Wouldn't that be cool, though? Coming back home. <laughs> I would like e. to kind of see it, like, with the CGI nowadays. If they did it right, because they had the three of them on uh, Drew Barrymore's show, and it was really cool to see them all together. I'd like to see if, if it was done right, if it was done well. You know, it I wouldn't, wouldn't be, so no. Right, right, right. You know, I, I don't, I mean, I, that's one... Okay, next one. So it, it's yeah. all right. Uh, number five, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Three hundred. Yeah, they've made a ton of those. Billion. So they've made a yeah, ton. Yeah, they're of coming those. out with one this year. This yeah, is their. That's this year's summer blockbusters. Raiders right. Lost Ark Part Five. So, anyways, that goes okay. So that doesn't count. They the can, Walker they of Destiny those. or something. I'm talking about movies they can actually not really remake anymore. But uh, the Dark Knight. They've yeah, a hundred times. Yeah, well, that came out one billion. Jurassic Park. Yeah, they made they ten of those. But that. Yeah. Um, Star Wars. Yeah. The original Star Wars can't be remade. I don't think they'll well, ever try they, they've to. Tried so really the only uh, and then Jaws movie that can't be remade on that list is Animal House. Yeah. The other ones have either been remade or done. So, right. but I mean, Ferris Bueller's Day is a day off. Is is well, let's, there. let's that, look, that what we started. It. What I tried to start with was the original Vacation. I mean, that was, you know, Chevy Chase, Deb, Beverly D'Angelo, John, Anthony Michael Hall. It started that a was, trilogy in movies. Yeah, I mean, where it started had, out. It, it's an icon. Yeah, it was, you know, it had, great, got, I had think the great four, icon. Four or five: <laughs> Vacation, European Vacation, Christmas Vacation, Vegas Vacation. Yeah, didn't so they? Four. They tried to remake that. They did. Yeah, they did. Uh, it, yeah. Someone played Rusty. The Jason Sudeikis played Jason his son, Stuck, Rusty. Yeah, Christine Applegate played his wife. Yeah. Anyway, yes. I watched it. The uh, it was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. It wasn't very good at all. Yeah, I was really disappointed. So, so this year, um, like I said, the only thing I know that's coming is Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I'm, I'm. That's my question: is is this because I don't watch movies anymore? I, the last movie I saw in the movie theater was, I believe, the last Star Wars. Well, I want a millennia. Do people go to the movies anymore? I feel like COVID ruined the movies. Oh, I think absolutely you're because right. Because you ha- you couldn't oh, go to. I did. The I did see Top Gun Maverick last year. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. I haven't gone to the movies in a very long time because one, I didn't really like going because I freaking talk too much because of my ADHD. Right. I and, fall asleep. <laughs> you know, it's just there hasn't been any movie that I'm like, yep, I want to go to and the theater to see that. There hasn't been anything original. 
Uh, well, they're all cap. You're right. They're all Marvel or freaking. Uh, we what's also the other live one? in this time right now too that you wait two months and it's on Amazon Prime. You yeah. can spend the twenty dollars to watch it at home. Right. Uh, it's it's unfortunate because the movie going experience used to be. It used to be a big thing. Yeah, but you went to the movies. Were, you, people you know. also ruined it because you have people like me, I will put myself in the category a little bit, that talk throughout the movie or they bring their child or they're chomping on popcorn or making ruffly noises. And Well, now these movie theaters, you can order dinner and, yeah, and you have clinking I mean, glasses and forks on plates. Yes, it really is. You have like the that. waiters coming around. So for me personally, and then the ticket price. That's a huge part, too. Yeah. If I'm going to spend $20 on the movie, I'm going to wait until I can watch it at home and have a little movie night of my own. Yeah, that's why I, I think that the, the movie theaters got to rethink that. They're the blockbuster. Why didn't, I, I'm, why didn't they think of this before? They had to know that they were going to be phased out eventually, but they didn't. There wasn't. There's not one movie theater, like AMC or freaking Harkins, or there's other ones back east that are that are huge. Sign mark. But that... They didn't for think about this. They brought in the drinking booze and yeah, the, bars the recliners and, the lobbies, and eating dinner. dinner. But I don't think people want it. I don't. I no, don't, people yeah. liked that. That's oh, I do. I don't mind it. More. Well, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about people in general. That's why a lot of them. There was only one AMC in the valley that had it. Timmy worked at it, and then all of a sudden, all of the AMCs had the bar and dinner and this and that and the recliners. But one of my very first jobs was AMC movie theaters. I that's, remember that. that's where I worked there. And it was Friday nights where Pat, we were turning people yeah, away. They were was sold out. I mean, it was, everybody was at the movies. But also was, you didn't have a phone that gave it right. to you within I mean, two it was seconds. the eight, yeah. late eighties, early nineties. You're, I mean, I yeah, get it. But especially with Netflix and Amazon. And, and that's Hulu. never going to happen again, but it was a big deal. You would ask a girl out, you want to go to the movies. You know, that's what right, you, that's right. what you did. I mean, it was a big deal. Netflix and chill now. Yep. Now it's Netflix Net- and chill. Netflix and chill. Which so, I mean, that. I so think basically, is you're going down. down to what you're saying. Is there ever going to be another summer? Yeah, that's blockbuster? my question. Is is the summer blockbuster gone? I don't think so, and I think Maverick bought it back with Top Gun. Agreed. I don't think it's I, gone I, I yet. I think that was a big. Thing. I think it has a way shorter well, shelf life. Oh, okay. Now, barring you know Indiana Jones because it's part of a franchise, um, you know everyone's waiting to see hundred year old Harrison Ford and, yeah, and the Walker of Destiny or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, the Walker to Jones. I, I'm going to go see it, of course, because it's Indiana Jones. But the question is, anything that's non franchised, what what is there? What's anyone waiting for? What's the big thing? What's My the, movie, the transportation the department, but that's another show. But, <laughs> but no, years in the making. but it is the truth. Transformers, they've made a hundred of those. How many freaking? Oh yeah, uh, new Transformers. The Fast there. and the Furious. Can they freaking now? They're think talking to spinning off ten of them. How oh, many more are you God. gonna make? Those movies are so frustrating. The Fast but and that's the Elderly. The problem too is that I know I can't wait until they're in their walker <laughs> or not God. walkers, but their motorized scooters. The, the and dial, rrr, rrr, Fast and Furious yeah, Thirty yeah. dial ride. That is crazy. <laughs> Easy, man it's it's just stupid drifting no, well nobody's that's the problem creative too, is that it no one's creative and then also they're taking these old stories and then they're remaking them like the little mermaid that whole thing leaving the whole woke whatever outside of it they completely changed the movie the director said i don't want it to be like the cartoon yeah then which, why didn't you make a separate have you movie? seen it the new one no because i refuse okay no, I agree because the Little Mermaid just should, should be uh, really all the Disney should just be passed down originally the way they unless they have you know if they were racially overtoned or something in some spots of them like <sighs> you know you got uh, yeah, the you're movie gonna, is the movie if you want to make another that. one make another Little exactly. Mermaid or the make not it, as Little Mermaid uh, they or redid, the Big Mermaid they redid the Lion King exactly the, and it wasn't as good I didn't like no. it so I mean I, the original Lion King was incredible the second one I was like eh, all right I'm not it, it's okay. And then, you know, I'm trying to, I don't know, at Disney movies, you just got to keep, keep making because they're generations of gener. They've created. Yeah, just come up with something else. Quit remaking well, stuff. Rem- do the live action version of Little Mermaid. But every kid should know Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And every kid should know the Little Mermaid. And really every kid. Though? I but mean, from all they the way. change the story from the cartoon. So that's the problem that I'm having, that the Little Mermaid isn't about whatever, or it doesn't have the song, or. Her fucking blue dress is not the right blue dress. Any story that keeps on getting passed down in between me and Jim, I once caught a fish this big. So it just keeps on <laughs> it just keeps on getting different, you know? 
Then make a whole new story about a yeah, mermaid. Yeah, make a new movie. You can base it on that. Like I said, another Little Mermaid or the Bigger Mermaid or or something. The, the pl- Bigger Mermaid. The Plus Size Mermaid. <laughs> the, the, the Bigger Black it. Mermaid. Yeah. Whatever the hell you do or God. <laughs> Come on. My, my point is, don't remake stuff. Make another version of it from another point of view. Um, Something. You know, don't remake the same movie. Do a different point of view of that movie. Of Disney, I, I agree with Just that. One, in but, movies but in general, I, but in Disney movies, the kids, in movies every in kid general. from ninety to five knows a Disney movie. They, I mean, well, yeah, but Kay, all right. So Kayla's Disney uh, World started with with The Lion King, but ours was more the Snow White movie. Right, or, uh, but Kay, that, that was but Snow our White parent. was made in the fifties. Right, but what I'm talking about is those stories are passed down to kids that pass them down to their kids that pass them down to. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. You are not looking up Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Wasn't that made in the 30s? Maybe, yeah, it's maybe. been a long, it's been long a, time. Yeah. Whenever Mickey Mouse came around. Well, Mickey Mouse was 27, so... He's Snow 100. White, yeah, he is that. 100 years yeah. old. It's been in 1937. Is 1937. When, yeah, Snow so White, that's what I'm saying. But that's what, they, they, those movies, I, I feel, should be passed down to gener- kids' generations to generate <laughs> Because this is, you can relate. If your grandpa can take if their grandkid to go see Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, they'll relate to that. Yeah, but they're not going to relate when the completely the movie is completely different. Right. From what so what they she's know. saying, the Little right. Mermaid, the story is completely different. But that makes Grandpa go, "Wow, oh, that's a little different than uh, you know the one." There was, a, there was a remake they did recently, though. I was okay with what did I can't remember what it was. It was probably not okay. <laughs> <laughs> they probably didn't get William Scott's uh, okay, or what was our guy's name? Tom, Tom Cook. Tom Cook. Tom, Tom's good. Tom Cook didn't give us hard the okay Tom on Nook. that. So it's okay. Do you, do, do you remember the Nook argument Nook. about Iron Eagle and and uh, Top Gun? Iron Eagle. Remember the movie this Iron Eagle, Louis Gossett Jr. Oh my God! Yeah, that dark. <laughs> Are we? Is this on the itinerary? Are we going on? <laughs> I do remember that movie. <laughs> Iron Eagle was always accused of being a Top Gun ripoff. So here's the deal. I just I found this earlier. I thought it was funny. Uh, Iron Eagle release date, January 17th, 1986. Top Gun release date, May 12th. So May 12th, Top Gun ripped off Iron Eagle. There you go. Tom Cruise, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord. Okay. Wow. And, All right. and Top Gun's budget was $3 million less than Iron Eagle. So it's a cheap ripoff. <laughs> wow. But I don't which, even know what you're talking but about. But which made more money? Oh, no, no. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who so, started in uh, Iron yeah, who, Robot? Who had a career? Uh, uh, that uh, Louis Gossett Jr. and some dude with who? funky hair. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it's Lewis Gossett Jr. You should he was big back in Google the 80s. him. You should eat hey, Lewis. He's as big as uh, what was it? Danny Glover. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> no, Danny Glover. I know. I just found that. I thought that was yeah, all right. Really all right. Well, we come back. We're gonna do what's coming up like as a every weekly thing. Uh, Warp weird news. So uh, we're gonna be right back, guys. <laughs> Stick around. Right. Warped world news it's spanning the internet to find you the weirdest shit we could find we got some weird shit warp world news mark what do you got i have so um, i wonder if you guys have seen this so it's the most it was i, I look at a lot of dumb news i got a lot of time during uh during the week <laughs> in illinois this guy got arrested because in his sleep he was dreaming that an intruder came in so he sleepwalked Picked up his gun, shot himself in the leg, and freaking the guy they call nine one one. They came and arrested him because for he, shooting himself because he didn't have a licensed gun. <laughs> so this guy had not he, he was asleep, sleepwalking, and they got him for reckless endangerment and um, just not having a, a concealed weapon license. But he, he dreamt that he uh, there was an intruder in the house, sleepwalked. Cocked his gun and shot himself. <laughs> I mean, that's just stupid. I, that's stupid shit. I mean, there are this, and I don't know where. Who reports these? Where do you where do you get that? Who's reporting that? Hey, go get the guy that shot himself. Oh, come on, really? If you're at the <laughs> yeah, station, that poor I mean, that poor news guy's not crappy. Oh, cover the idiot. It's like doing the damn cat pageant. What the hell? What's that? Oh, that's next week, guys. <laughs> just crazy. All right, Jim. What's your weird news? All right, I, I got one here. It's a little political, but stay with me. Oh, okay? no, 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 no. Just slightly political, just because it's it's. I just can't believe this guy did this. It's it's people like this are just unbelievable, and you'll understand what I'm saying when I read it. Texas Republican Representative Dan Crenshaw 
used his glass eye to jokingly send a message to the referees of the GOP team defeated when the GOP team defeated the Democrats. This congressman has a glass eye. Was he won? They won four to two. He was still pissed at the refs, so he says, well, the refs only have two eyes, so I'm going to leave him one, and pops his eye out on TV, I watched this, <laughs> and drops it in his trophy cup. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have a glass eye. I've had it since I was two. This is where karma hits me, because this is the only second time in my life I've seen someone else take <laughs> yeah, their well, eye out. I was out. just going to say, were you proud, or were you upset? No, I'm wondering no, which one he was. Because the second time, I'm like... Ew. Because look at the smile on his on his face. He's like, he took his eye out, and then and he's like, he's pumping his fist in the no, air over here, guys. No, it, 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 what cracked me up was because this guy did this, and I'm like, ew. You know, when the first time I saw what was on that show, How It's Made, I saw a guy do it, I'm like, same thing, ew. ew. And I've been doing that to people my whole life. So for those of you that have ever seen me take my eye out, I am sorry. And he does. He cleans it. it, it, it so, he does like the thing too. He's like, <laughs> what were they? What were they doing? That they, oh, I'm sorry. They were playing a soccer game. The, okay. an, the annual uh, ninth annual congressional soccer match. I was gonna say, are they playing like Scrabble? Yeah, that was four to two. I'm like, no, I, I'll read the story. Republicans were up two to one over the Democrats at halftime, and uh, before going into the clinch win with two more goals, so they won four to two. While lifting the trophy during a celebration with his team. Um, well, I know why they were losing. They had a one-eyed guy playing soccer. The, I mean, he's no, like, they won. So, oh, his I'm team. The other way. Uh, he's still, can we see out of the right? He's, still blind he's trying to kick here. the ball. It's on the other side, uh, <laughs> Senator. It's on the other side. He can't see on his right I mean, side. So, just kick it on his left. Just kick it on his left, guys. That's how they did it to me all in school. Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> So he says the ref has two eyeballs, but they don't want to use them. I'm and once I was replaced in half, we won the game four to two. <laughs> so anyway, uh, where's so we're it, this was a fun show. I think this oh, wait, was fun. I got one more. Oh my god! Ding 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 ding! Uh, All yeah. right, Caleb, do you have any? Did you no, find any? No. Okay, no, she's no. She's... This I find really weird. I'm going to try to do this without adding all extra numbers in. In Copenhagen, Denmark. A wealthy driver was fined 121,000 euros. That's 129,000 uh, American dollars for speeding. Euro trash. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently in Finland, Denmark, whatever. Um, I think they're two different countries. <laughs> no. Well, okay. So this guy says uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, but he uh, region of Finland in the Baltic Sea, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Apparently their speeding tickets are based on their... Um, income. Hmm. So this guy who's wealthy, who owns half the country or whatever, was he was doing 20, 20 miles over. He was doing 50 and a 30. And he was fined $129,544. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. $129,504 because. They could. <laughs> yeah, because he makes that much money. <laughs> yeah. So really, so Finland has, has decided that. Um, when you get a speeding ticket, it's going to be based on your income. There's actually a bill in New York to do the same thing. You can't do that. It's going to just. Absolutely not. No. It's go- and I hate to say this. It's going to be poverty driven. It will drive crime through. the. You can't do that. You can't well, do no, because you think about it. Okay, so a guy gets a parking ticket and it's $200. Can't pay it because he's poor. But if it's based on his income and it's only $30. And do you not think he would do that continuously? And pay the and thir- tell his friend and how he'd have to, to do pay it. the thirty dollars or end up in jail. Right, but the so, rich guy's got to pay three hundred. Do you not think these? Yeah, and you base it on their income. The rich guy is is going to pay five hundred dollars. The poor guy's going to pay twenty dollars. Crime but- would be through the roof. Crime would be. I'm not. I'm not for or roof. against it. I'm just saying that's their thought. Is if they're. If their fine is lower, they will pay it. it. It's stupid. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I mean. I I get what their thought is, but to me, it's very stupid. All right. Well, we'll we'll never make newscasters because we can't even read a damn story. (laughs) No, but we did. But we did stay on script, did we not, guys? Are we going to sign this? We got who's who's this? (laughs) We're auctioning this off. This script, guys. It's going to have all our signatures. No, we're going to give this a good giveaway. Mark and Kayla have totally trashed theirs. I know. Mine is in pristine condition. No, I see a wrinkle right there, top right corner. I see. Wrinkle over here dog. on the left. Man, I quit looking at my face. I'm 53, <laughs> so shut the hell up, goddamn it. So, that's bullshit. If you want a signed autographed copy of our first uh, shit. Articles of Incorporation. No, the- <laughs> 
<laughs> our staff meeting. Our constitution right, gonna, bylaws, if you like that. You're going to go to our Facebook page. You're going to say, I listened. All you got to do is say, I listened and I shared. You have to You have to comment that you listened. You, 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 <laughs> you have to what? We yeah. edit just want to know if edit you listened. Come on, yes. bud. Let's go. <laughs> One person just say, I'm, I'm listening. Like, I'm for, listening. Like, I'm listening. Okay, like, and, share, and share the show. You can choose... To 600 people, <laughs> and then you will get You just have to share the show. You can get an autograph copy of Is it going to be a, our original, or is it going to be a fax copy? No, I will, I will save these copies. I'll laminate the damn things. No, I don't that's, care. That's, I think we should. You know how most people make like their first dollar and they frame it? We're, we're doing this with our first. Yeah, we're uh, a year in. We actually have our did first. Did we cover itinerary. everything on it, Jim? Check. Uh, uh, let's see here. Kayla, see. talk here. Uh, Kayla, talk here. What's coming up? Anniversary party. Oh, my God. He's reading the whole thing. <laughs> we just did an hour and a half <laughs> show. <laughs> And I, I, I wondered if Kayla I, didn't talk about warp news. Uh, my warp news is I have to sit in this shit every <laughs> week. Is that so? Is that the only thing that we didn't cover? Yeah, that's right. Really, wow. See, we stayed on track. So the only thing you missed was intro music here. That's what <laughs> we he are did. only at a hundred and f- or an, an hour and four minutes instead of the twenty that we usually have to edit down. All right, so we want to thank everybody for we listening. We have to edit down. I don't ever. <laughs> no, read. yeah, you guys don't edit shit. <laughs> so make sure you guys stay so, tuned for the next couple all right, episodes. I want to make the, the details of the test or the, not the, the test. test. <laughs> if you get, you got to take a test. Details There's of, a test on it. On the contest, go to the Facebook page, like and share and comment, and then you can win the autographed copy of the itinerary. All right, oh thanks God, everybody for listening. What the hell is Join going? us at facebook.com forward slash our work world. Contest Just ever Mark. in the history of contests, Jim. I'm sorry. You can listen to someone else's podcast. <laughs> Yeah, you know like what? A fucking paid that is the worst contest Nook. in the history of contests. You know what? They're going to win the the autographed copy of our first staff meeting. Can you it. not put like a five dollar Starbucks no. gift card? In oh, that because house. you never paid. Off. I was yeah, willing wait, to pay. I have everybody. a ten dollar gift card. I'll throw in a ten dollar Starbucks gift card. I do have one. There I have it go. in my possession. I am not Mark. I will. I will pay. You know it. what's going to happen? We're going to get somebody to do it. And he's going to. Well, I've got three bucks. I'll cut it. All right, we're out of here. Thanks everyone for Goodbye, listening. Please everyone. like and share the show. Bye. <laughs>